So the Bible Believers Blowout. It's going to be December 13, 14, and 15. It will take place Friday evening, Saturday morning, Saturday evening, and Sunday. So that will be the Bible Believers Blowout. It will be phenomenal. We will have our main speakers as Pastor Kyle Stevens and Dr. Ellen Ryman. Pastor Kyle Stevens, he is the man who wrote this thick book called Certainty of the Words. And that book is purely just scripture in defending the King James Bible. There's like no manuscript evidence number footnote. It's just purely King James Bible verses, so which is very phenomenal. He's a great preacher. Dr. Alan Ryman, he's actually a wild preacher in Catholic Delaware, but he averages over 100 to 200 people at church. He's got some wild stories. You got to know him and hear him preach, then you'll know. But he is hilarious. He is very funny. He even preached where the vice president was over there and preached about hellfire, actually. So he's an awesome preacher. These, it's going to be phenomenal. These preachers are also going to include Pastor Dennis Knowles, Pastor Randy Gorski, Pastor Hilton Smith, Pastor Samson Ryman, Pastor Joshua Stevenson, and missionary Josh Siselchek. So this will be a perfect, good lineup of speakers. This is going to be a big blowout. We hope that you can join with us on this event. The location will take place at 1759 South Main Street, suite number 124. The city is Milpitas, zip code 95035. It will take place on Friday, 6 p.m. We kick off with Pastor Kyle Stevens. And then 7-ish p.m., depending on how the Holy Spirit moves Pastor Stevens, we want to give him liberty to preach. So 7-ish p.m. will be Dr. Alan Ryman. Then Saturday morning at 10 a.m. will be Pastor Randy Gorski. 11 a.m. will be Missionary Josh Siselchik. Then Saturday evening, 4 p.m. will be preached by yours truly. I will be your host speaker. 5 p.m. we will have purely one hour of just singing hymns, old-fashioned hymns, where people might do some shouting, people might be quiet, people might be sober-minded, people might run around the room. It doesn't matter. People want to cry and people just want to not cry. It doesn't matter. The hearts are in unity in praising the Lord Jesus Christ your own way. We want to give everyone here freedom to sing and praise God the way you do it for Him. As long as you don't speak in tongues and then bark like dogs like the Brownsville Revival. 6 o'clock p.m. will be preached by Dr. Alan Ryman after he gets heated up by the singing. Then we will have dinner fellowship and testimonies after that. We're not going to have everyone giving testimonies for time's sake, so I'll just be pointing out some people whom I'm familiar with. That's it. Sunday, we will. this is going to be the biggest day, Sunday. 10 a.m. will be led off by Pastor Samson Ryman so that he can wake us up. We need to wake up in the morning. So he'll wake us up a bit. 11 a.m. will be purely specials done by different churches. So it will be great. We got some surprising songs for you, and it will be uplifting. Amen. It will be uplifting and even touching. Then 11.30-ish a.m., depending how the Holy Spirit moves through the special, 11.30-ish a.m. will be preached off by Pastor Kyle Stevens. Then uh, we'll have lunch fellowship once he finishes preaching. Then 1.30 p.m. will be preached by Pastor Hilton Smith. 2.30 p.m., We'll have one hour purely of congregational hymn singing. And then 3.30 p.m., Pastor Joshua Stevenson will be fired up after the singing. And then he'll fire it away with this sermon. And then the perfect finale will be a close friend of mine, Pastor Dennis Knowles. He will be the perfect closing for everything at the blowout. These are excellent speakers. They've been uh, asked to speak by several different churches, including Dr. Ruckman's own blowout revival meetings so this is going to be great we're going we are very blessed to have these speakers with us as well as these guest speakers we also have a street preaching blast it'll take place saturday 12:30 to 3:15 p.m. saturday 
Street preaching, blast. We meet at Lee's Sandwiches. The address is 260 East Santa Clara Street, San Jose, California, 95113. There's a parking lot building right next to this place on South 6th Street. We suggest that you should look at the map and prepare beforehand. That way you can go over there and that way you don't get lost because this will take place in downtown San Jose. 12.30 to 1.30 p.m., we have lunch at Lee's Sandwiches. Now, you must order and pay for your own lunch, so remember that. 1.30 to 3 o'clock p.m., that's where we do street preaching, tracking, and soul winning. We're going to divide into different teams. So there's going to be a specific team who will be street preaching right at that Christmas parade where there's a huge crowd, and then the different teams will be spread about at different blocks where there are rich areas of souls where you can start witnessing. My goal is that we lead as many souls as possible, pass out hundreds of tracts, and that a lot of people will get uh, the preaching of God's word as well. Then 3 o'clock to 3.15 p.m., <coughs> we meet at the Christmas parade area, and we will sing 15 minutes of congregational hymn singing in front of the whole Christmas parade. We're going to show them what real singing is all about over there. All right, so please understand that those who watched us online or who were notified by email earlier about the location was changed to a different address. If this is your first time hearing about this address on this video that you're watching or you're watching us online, that's the right address, Milpitas. If you got a different address before from me, that address was changed. Remember that. Reason why is because uh, it seems like we're going to have far more people than we expected. So uh, I don't want anyone to be ruined of a good experience. So we switched to a different location in a much bigger room. Uh, Brother Max and Brother Robert seen it with me. It's a lot better. It's a lot better compared to the uh, other place that we've been at. Now, uh, please notify us how many will come by November 15th. This includes this church. You need to tell me how many of you are coming November 15th. If you want to invite somebody else to, then you got to let us know before November 15th. That way we can plan properly. The reason why is reservation can be limited. So even though we move to a bigger room, it seems like that we might have more people. So it is possible we may be smaller and there might be a lot of seats. But from all the emails, phone calls, and people that I've talked to, it seems like the numbers are going to be bigger than we expected. So please remember that. Everyone was spiritually blessed at last year's event, and we hope that you can see for yourself if that's true. It will be phenomenal with singing, shouting, soul winning, track packing, uh, track passing, street preaching, testimonies, eating superb meals, fellowship with real Bible believers, and tons of preaching to fill your cup. Preacher slots have been filled and finalized with all these speakers that I've mentioned to you. Now I ask you to bless us in return by observing the following points, please. Our church is small to provide accommodations. So please, please do not ask us for rides, meals, or hotels. You have to prepare it yourself. We're already busy with accommodating everything else, and we're not a big church, so we'd sure appreciate that. However, remember, Saturday dinner and Sunday lunch is provided by the church, as mentioned in schedule. So we can provide that for you. Everything else, please take care of yourselves. A second thing I also want you to observe is that <clears throat> this meeting is, uh, is different from a typical church that you go to. So please keep that in mind. We believe in our big meetings in a more free spirit of preaching and singing that is also balanced with strength and firmness and non-compromising in doctrine. That's what we want to be. Like the old days of Great Awakening revivals, you might see a few people running around the aisles, throwing some stuff, and some people preaching real hardcore. Now, if you're this type, you're going to really enjoy what's intended for people like you. We also request that you don't be nitpicky with some who aren't yet grounded in enough doctrine. We want to show the world what a loving, real, genuine, powerful, Bible-believing church revival should be. The verse 
theme of our meeting is John 4, 24. We worship God in spirit Amen. and in truth. And that's what churches lack. Amen. And that's what I want this meeting to be all about. We have scheduled to make things uh, convenient for everyone. So that's the third thing that I want you to observe is that we scheduled it in a way that's convenient for you. So pay attention to the time slots. You have plenty of rest at Friday since we start late at the evening. We start at the evening. You also have several hours to rest between Saturday services. So you have a couple hours to rest. Sunday is the day that you're going to be the busiest. The latest we're going to finish is 6 p.m. or uh, around 6.30 p.m. or uh, 5.30. That's going to be the latest. So we've scheduled things in a way that can meet everybody who is busy or, or traveling long distances. The fourth thing I want you to observe is that if you don't want to take that rest between Saturday services, but rather join our street preaching blast instead, then please let us know how many will specifically come for the street preaching, not just the blowout. If you're going to come before November 15th, notify me how many of you are coming to the blowout and the street preaching because we are dividing teams. Uh, one thing I want to request is that because we receive an excessive amount of emails and phone calls, it will be easier for us if you can just look at the blowout flyer that we've handed to you or at the instructions po uh, posted below this video. Below this video, we're going to put all the detailed instructions, so please take a look at that one. We hope to see you join. We hope to see you join the excitement with us. Amen. December 13, 14, and 15.